With the launch of our game Fly Together, we sat down to discuss some of our favorite parts from the development. Last topic, last big topic. If reinventing all the controls and coming up with all these schemes and doing all this this work for controls and then rebalancing and adding and changing the whole campaign to support this new uh, player styles and all these new uh, you know systems that are in the campaign that weren't in the original game, right? Of calling in new airplanes, uh, bonus chests and whatnot, things you can, can do, right? Um, if that wasn't enough to be like, okay, this is a, a pretty solid console game now, uh, we also one up that wanted to add like more work on top of that pile, right? And probably if we hadn't added this thing, we would have we would have, we would have had this conversation a year ago. We would have launched this game already. Um, yeah, but we we're true. super adamant about adding um, battle mode. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about battle mode? Because I, I, to me, that's a, it's near and dear to my heart. So the campaign mode, the regular, like you play together with your friends and you go through the levels in order, um, was built like on top of like the original game. So we kind of already knew like what the flow was supposed to be. But for battle mode, we were just all sitting there scratching our heads going, okay, we want something where we, you get to compete against each other. Uh, okay, but what does that look like? We don't really know. And, and it ended up being the the perfect like expression space for us to do all the dumb things that we couldn't fit into the campaign or that we were afraid weren't wouldn't really belong to the game and we were like yeah wouldn't it be funny if you could call down a meteor and and then things <laughs> just put it in the, put it in the game put it in the put it in the battle mode so we we tried uh we tried many of course we tried many different things we tried the original campaign levels and like put in like oh you you can you compete against each other who can get the most points and we found out oh the, the campaign levels are good when you're playing together they're not really good for when you're playing against each other and our level designer like really got to work hard on like making new types of levels we try yeah. them out we see which ones works which one doesn't and he kept iterating and we have like a new style of making levels like we accidentally came across i don't even remember how anymore but like wouldn't it be funny if you could p like pick up items and like shoot against each other or like maybe and then like all the ideas for stupid power-ups kept coming one by one yeah. and <laughs> yeah i mean we were playing this game like what two years ago at the Christmas party? <laughs> like, at the 2019 like, Christmas party, yeah, we were playing the first iteration of battle mode. Yeah. yeah, I feel like battle mode is such an interesting thing because um, the game was practically done, right? But it was very much a co-op experience. And that's fun and that's cool, but it's a very special kind of, uh, you know, game session um, that you have and you're, you're trying to do the best you can as a team. Uh, and then, you know, we all love a good competitive game, right? Uh, and, and <laughs> at so, the office we do, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and so, so I think that it was sort of an ambition for most of the team to somehow infuse the game with that that aspect we just didn't really for a long time we didn't really know what it was what it was supposed to be and so we we sort of tested early versions of, of the battle mode for a long time next to the campaign which was as you said pretty much laid out right uh and i, I really like where it's ended up it's, it's a completely different experience right because it's you can play up to eight people and eight people is insane it's mayhem. It's mayhem. And we added all the power-ups. And we we generally try to not, not restrict people if they want to do crazy things, right? We, yes. added, uh, we added a huge setting screen where you can actually tail, custom tailor all the rules of the battle. You can make some weird stuff. We haven't even played all the variations that you can, you can do with this thing, right? For the campaign mode, it's like players don't have to worry about making a good experience. Like, we already laid up a track for yeah. them and they can play through the levels. But for the battle mode, it's like if you have one beer in your hand and the Joy-Con in the other hand and you tell your friend, wouldn't it be funny if we... And the other friend goes, yeah, let's do it. And <laughs> they can just go into the rules and like set up the game exactly how they yeah. want it. Um, we even, and this might be a bit of a pandemic special, but we even took extra time out. Well, Ulrich did. Yeah. And he put a, more effort into like actually building uh, AI players yeah. that you can play against. So you can, if you're just two players and you feel like the levels are a bit too sparse, you can add in some AI players and they will surely spice up the gameplay. Some of them play more recklessly than others. Um, it's a love-hate kind of yeah. thing, right? Yeah, it was really one of those things where this wasn't planned at all, but it kind of just felt right and we pushed the deadline. That's pretty much what happened. 
Um, I think I was against it even. Yeah, but like it, at the beginning. It, of course. Yeah. Uh, you show me a lead developer on a project that's uh, a multi year project that isn't against adding a pretty new feature right at the end of the development, right? And also, I feel like it kind of has a little bit of that taste, the same sort of design philosophy that we had with the campaign where you could play it single player or you could play it multiplayer. We want to have experiences for both. It would be kind of weird to add battle mode, but you have to have a friend over to enjoy that part of the game, mm, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so I'm really happy that that AI players got in there. Um, there's also a lot of other weird things. We added uh, escalations in battle mode. If, if we put on the game design yeah, hat for yeah, a moment. Put on the game design it's, hat. I'm putting it, on the game design hat. The game design was the icon hat, but it's a... It's a tool we came up with to solve a problem in that the first 30 seconds of a game sometimes feel the same as the last 30 seconds of the game. And you know the feeling you get when you're playing a, a competitive game with some of your friends and one of them gets an early lead and you know you have to work really hard to catch up and you might actually realize it's impossible for me to get enough points to beat the number one guy within the next 45 seconds. Why even bother to try? And, and we were seeing players like come up with this like they would have a lot of fun and then like the, the end of the round would get closer and they would like just start to disengage if they're really competitive. And we, we thought to ourselves, surely there is a way we can solve this. And then we racked our brains a bit and we had a really dumb, stupid discussion. And we came up with the idea of like, oh, what if we like throw additional rules on top of the game as you go through a round? And what if we have them be random, right? And I remember your original idea was like, what if like a big roulette wheel comes down and it like starts turning and like you hit the <laughs> bankrupt slice or whatever. Yeah, but but we refined on that idea to make it a bit more <laughs> elegant. As with most of my stupid ideas, we opted for a simple solution, a better solution. Yeah, if you cut away a bit of the Michael, <laughs> then there's a good idea in there yeah, in the middle. Yeah. But no, I, I, I love that. I, I love the, the ideas of escalation. And I also feel like it's a, it's a very North Playing thing. Like this is something that we probably would just not good enough game designers to have thought of this going in, right? Uh, we, 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 <laughs> this is something that only comes from this iterative process of, of playing your own game for a long time and figuring out what's what's actually missing from this sort of, sort of this this session here, right? And then spitballing ideas, and it's sort of this. Uh, I usually re refer to like the, it's like the Darwinism of of, uh, of game design, where we like the greatest ideas evolve. We're constantly chasing the fun, and the most fun ideas keep 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 winning. Uh, and I, I love working uh, uh, working on games like that, and I feel like that's that's very much what this this is. And, and battle mode is like the it's the it's the distilled version of that, right? Because it has so many wacky ideas in there. Um, there's a bunch of wacky ideas that hasn't made it into the game yet that we're still considering for battle mode, right? And there's a even larger pool of ideas that we thought were the most best thing ever. And then we tried it out and we just cut it out right away because nope, it, it's just not a good fit. Battle mode overall, like it really feels different every time you play. If you add computers, it definitely feels different. But even if you're just a, a group of friends, uh, you have escalations that are random. You can, of course, customize those in the rules, the crazy rule settings that we've done, and when they happen, which escalations happen. You have power-ups that are spawning randomly around, which can be crazy. You have a power-up to drop a giant cake uh, because those exist in the world, right? So that airplanes crash into them. Um, you have like all these different things, right? You can get advertisement banners on your planes that will generate points for you so that everyone wants to destroy that plane as fast as possible, right? And on the advertisement banner is like weird, silly things we made up, advertisements from for other games, uh, characters from our games that has a flight school. Spots party yeah. sucks. <laughs> yeah. So like, there's just there's so many little details and touches in there that I feel is so very us, um, which makes me incredibly happy to like ship battle mode. I feel like that's this is a game I will be playing with my friends for years uh, as sort of that party game, right? The battle mode is the most mm, party yeah, part of I this. Yeah, I can see that. I'm very looking forward to seeing people who I don't know personally get a chance at trying the game. And and like if they like put something out on YouTube or like stream it on Twitch or whatever, and then you get to hear their honest opinion. Getting the first hand experiences of like the, the baby you've been nurturing for so long, right? I mean, I fly this, the original base game that we, we made fly together out of, is not I wasn't really part of that production even. Um, I joined like to help build the Switch thing and like redesign the game and now I feel like it's my I've adopted a baby you definitely right? have. that's what it feels like yeah yeah, yeah. and I'm just really looking forward to 
seeing it spread its wings and like seeing people's honest impressions about it and like I'm waiting for that one moment where the two airplanes collide and you hear them laughing as they realize the horror of what they've done <laughs> uh, and then they hit a button and call in another airplane and they're ready to go again right it's been a crazy ride and it, it always feels surreal these launches always feel surreal because it's sort of like this secret you've been keeping together in your group right and you've been working on and iterating on it and uh, so many conversations so many things all condensed into like that launch right where it's finally out there and when you're a self-publishing indie developer like there's just this sort of chance that you know not a lot of people's gonna see it right um, so we try to do behind the scenes like this and talk about the work and the, the love that we poured into this product, right? And then you, you hope that people care and they want to try it out. Thank you to all of you who sticked around till the end of this, I guess. <laughs> Please, bye, fly together. Much, much yeah. love. Bye.